bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Tony Hill. Practically everybody's going to head to the beach at least once for the summer. How about going to the beach and having, just by virtue of you going to the beach, giving back to the community in an awful big way? We're going to tell you how you can do that. Joining us to explain is Tommy Schmitz, who's co-founder and also co-president of Bike to the Beach for Autism. Tommy, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Oh, glad to have you here. Uh, this is obviously a passion of yours, riding your bike, going to the beach. You have a good time doing that. You and some friends have been doing it for some time. And it's kind of now morphed into something that's much more meaningful. Tell me how this whole thing got started. Well, I've been doing uh, the Bike to the Beach ride since 2000. It was founded in 99 by my brother and his friend Ben Daly. Mm -hmm. And I joined him the second year after they had a catastrophic first year. <laughs> okay. And it's, it's been a painful development. Uh, it's, it's not exactly the most fun ride, but we've done it every year. No one's wanted to blink, and we've kind of grown up until 2006 until there was substantial buzz around the event, sure. at which point we decided we could parlay that into a fundraiser and make a, little, make a difference in the community. And it's a lot of fun as well. This is going to benefit autism. Uh, and, uh, you have a personal connection there. Yes, sir. My, uh, my cousin Jimmy is autistic. And when we decided to turn it into just a, from, from a ride into a charity ride, uh, we sat down with about eight people in the room. And when we decided what charity we should do, uh, it kind of jumped off the page when we realized three of the eight people had autistic relatives. Autism is on the rise and it's something that needs to be detected very early. Sooner it is detected and diagnosed, the better off the individual will be. Absolutely. And it's benefiting an organization that does an awful lot in the area of autism in terms of research and programs. Absolutely. Autism Speaks is, I think, the largest autism advocacy organization in the world and uh, they're doing great things as far as biomedical research, therapy programs. Uh, they do the whole, th the whole deal. All right. And you're giving them a big shot in the arm with this uh, ride to the beach. Let's Absolutely. explain to people how this takes place, talk about the route, how much pain there is, how much heat. But then at the end, there's a great party for everybody as well. Absolutely. Uh, we'll g we've, we've left at all times, all times of the day in the past. And this year, we're going to be leaving at 4 in the morning uh, from New Carroll to Metro Stop just to kind of try and beat a little bit of traffic. And we don't want to bike all afternoon. So sure. 4 in the morning, we'll take off. Uh, have a nice little warm-up ride, about 25 miles to Annapolis. Mm -hmm. It's very hilly, taking four or 50 back roads because you can't bike on Route 50. Okay. Uh, we'll get to Annapolis and board a bus, put the bikes on a truck, and uh, take that across the bridges over to 404. And everyone kind of remount their bikes at that point, hopefully around 8 or 9 in the morning, mm -hmm. and ride down 404, down 113. It's a monotonous stretch of highway. but. Sure. Uh, for a good cause. But, and, and there's a mental challenge there that uh, anybody who's a sports aficionado, you know, you, you're up for that challenge. You want to get out there and, 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 and make that ride. Yeah. Now, when you arrive at the beach, time to relax and have some fun. Absolutely. Uh, we'll, we'll have a little get-together, a little welcoming party where we talk about the money we raise, talk about autism, and just kind of raise awareness and maybe raise a little bit of funds down there. And from that point, we'll probably have a happy hour over at Mango's at Bethany. <laughs> Everyone knows where that is. Sure. And, yeah. uh, and then we'll have a couple more things to do that weekend. We always have a crab feast once we get down there. Okay. Now let's talk about how people get involved in the whole thing because you need volunteers. You obviously need people to sign up for the ride. You need people to donate money, donate in-kind items. Uh, you need sponsors as well. How do people get involved on all those fronts? Uh, go to bikethebeach.org. You can find out about all that stuff. If you want to volunteer, we have contact information, whether you want to drive a chase car, whether you want to staff the, the welcoming committee once we get there, or just help out at one of our happy hours leading up to the event. If you want to ride, there's about 30 spots left open, so it's closing fast. And um, if you want to donate, there's a button on the website. Click on Donate. We're trying to raise $100,000 this summer. Okay. We raised 23 grand last summer, and this time we're shooting higher. You got 30, th oh, how many spots you have left? About 30 spots left for riders. How many total riders are you expecting? We're going to cap it at 100 this year. 100. That's going to be a pretty amazing sight to see those 100 bikers yeah, it's, heading down to the beach. It's come a long way since there were three of us on, on Route 450 back Absolutely. in 1999. Well, thank you for taking something that, again, that you guys are passionate about having fun with and turn it into something that's going to benefit the community in a big way. My hat's off to you. Thank you very much. All right, good talking to you. That is Tommy Schmitz, who is co-founder and co-president of Bike to the Beach for Autism. And for more information on how Comcast is involved in your community, please check out On Demand and click Get Local. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Till next time, I'm Tony Hill.